about Russia now, though, because it's begun mobilizing or trying to 300,000 reservists to send to the front line in Ukraine after losing substantial chunks of territory in recent weeks. As families watch their med head off to fight, a heartbreaking recording emerged of a distraught child having to say goodbye to his father as he went off to the front line. The military call-up has prompted many to try to flee the country, with queues building up at borders and at airports, while hundreds of people have been arrested at protests. Well, we're joined now by the journalist John Sweeney, who was in Kiev at the time of the invasion, and you've talked to us many times from there, have you? Lovely to have you in the studio with us this morning. So we've seen images of people fleeing en masse and not wanting to be part of this 300,000 call-up. Uh, what does that say, do you think, about Putin's chances of making it happen, and staying strong? Putin's in trouble. I think that down the track, Putin is a dead man walking because... And I said this, I have to say, on day two of the war, when I was arrested for being a Russian spy, wearing this hat. Do I look like a Russian spy? I said... You sure it wasn't for the hat? <laughs> I said that day that I don't think the person who's in trouble is Zelensky, the president of Ukraine. I don't think it's even me, even though I'd been arrested as a spy. The person who was in trouble was Vladimir Putin because he hasn't sold this war to his people. No. He still hasn't, and he's in trouble. He's losing the war on the front line. The, um, in the Kharkiv, the Ukrainians pushed back and got an awful lot of territory. But the other thing is that the justification for the war... The Ukrainians know what they're fighting for. They're fighting to get their homes back. It's very simple. Yeah. The Russian story is that they're fighting to denazify Ukraine. The president's Jewish. It makes no sense whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So the war is not popular mm -hmm. in, in Russia. And you can see that. Look at those cues. Those men do not want to fight in Vladimir mm -hmm. Putin's stupid war. Mm -hmm. The Chinese are saying to Putin, get on with it or stop it because it's buggering up our economy. So Putin's in trouble. I but think. what does dead man walking actually mean, John? Because at the moment, he's still in charge. He still has his finger on the nuclear button. He's still making mm. uh, threats to, um, to the West that, um, that he would respond with some kind of um, retaliatory strike using his nuclear arsenal, which is huge. And, I mean, at the moment, he's not dead. And if he's wounded... Can't wounded men do quite dangerous things mm. sometimes? Yes. Um, by the way, on the nuclear thing, I think that if he presses the button, he'll find that somebody inside the Kremlin has disconnected it from the nuke. Do you? I do not think that he has got full control of the Kremlin machinery. Right. Secondly, he knows that if he does that, him and Russia will be vaporised. A, a more... The other threat is that he will use a tactical nuclear weapon inside Ukraine and the Americans have said to him, the CIA I've heard, if you do that then things will not go well for you. They will not retaliate with nuclear weapons but with a massive amount of rockets and I think that is off the table too. The third possibility is he blows up for example the Zaporizhia nuclear power station um, and does a kind of mini Chernobyl. Mm. But the Chinese really, really don't want that. Their economy is in trouble because of their terrible drought. They do not want a recession in Europe, which that would do. Mm. So I think we're looking at a fragile monster who's got less options um, than, than he had before the stupid war, and his own people are now running away from it. And that's never good if you're in charge of Russia. But he's never been known to accept defeat publicly. So what is the way that he can get out of this, if mm. your analysis is correct, that he still mm. feels he looks like a strong person and has a legacy? And should we be giving him a way out? Mm. You're still a politician in no, I was soul, just... aren't you, Ed? No, Whoa. I'm teasing you. Well, I... also, someone who's thinking, actually, him stepping down will be good for all oh, of us. Oh, yeah, he... Can't... The problem with him is he's stolen too much money and he's killed so many people. I think the only way he leaves the Kremlin is in a box because he can't... Like, when you left so politics, him... Ed became... But... I can't see Vladimir Putin sitting in Ed's chair right now mm. hosting this show. That's not going to happen. He doesn't have a career post-Kremlin because he knows mm. 
people will come and get him for the murders. So, he's John, committed. not to interrupt you, but that's, I think, what we mean by being a wounded animal. He doesn't care because he knows he's finished in this situation. Are there people around him that could be persuaded to have a, uh, an elegant solution and peace? And, and I don't see an elegant solution. I see a bloody solution. Mm -hmm. But I, I think his grip on power inside the Kremlin is weakening. And what happens in these circumstances, you've got a, law that, uh, you've got a war they're losing, a lot of pressure. Mm. I think that somebody inside the Kremlin mm. might get rid of him. And the Ukraine um, strategy, the, the, the Zelensky strategy, has shifted, hasn't it? I think early on, there was a question, did Ukraine need to find an accommodation? My sense is that now Ukraine thinks they can fight this to the bitter end. Yes. No, so when I was on the front line in August, and the morale of the uh, Ukrainian soldiers is sky high. If Zelensky said, let's do a, a deal, he wouldn't be long in Kyiv because kicking Russia out is, mm -hmm. the, is the goal of all the Ukrainian soldiers, and they are so up for it. Their morale mm -hmm. is sky high. Thank you, John. Always fabulous yeah. to have your insights. And I, I think that you know, our viewers just want to know what's actually going on, so thank you for helping us to understand it. Thank you.